All right, then, it's time to answer the questions. Okay, so the first question is opinion on eco-capitalism. Well, I mean, I think it's fine, as long as it's voluntary. I actually think that the environment is good, and, you know, keeping it is a good thing. I just don't like when the state enforces it and when progressives claim that they need to use a Green New Deal to enforce it using the state. I hate that. Okay, next one. Opinion the new Peruvian president hates leftists and dragging the country into a worse place, just like Chile's new president. So, yeah. Opinion on pan-Arabism. Neutral, for the most part. I don't really know much about it, so I have to be neutral. Opinion on an a- pan-Africanism, also neutral in most cases, although some forms of it are influenced by leftists. So that's the form I hate, are the ones, you know, the forms that have been influenced by leftism, but mostly neutral. Why am I an anarcho-capitalist? Well, I'm an anarcho-capitalist due to quite a few reasons, mostly because of the fact that I hate any forms of authority, I'm questioning, I'm rebellious as well towards any sort of system, so that's a re- that's one reason. Two is my hatred for socialism, thanks to the fact that I know, you know, I haven't been to directly to the USSR, obviously I wasn't born during that time, but I heard about it and I really read about every single socialist country and they're all the same thing, basically, the same lies. So that's why I hate socialism. And also I've read many various books on economics and in general Austrian economics and about anarcho-capitalism. And I seem to really like it. I mean, it's a little bit, I thought, maybe like far-fetched, whereas like you don't need to stay. But now after, you know, reading, listening to lectures and reading books, I've realized that, yeah, it sounds like a good system. And the state just seems like a parasite to me. Stealing the wealth from society. Okay. Why am I a Hapaniism person? Or why am I a Hapaniist? Well, I mean, Hapaniism is very is basically a form of an, an, an alternative variant of anarcho-capitalism. So they're extremely similar ideologies. I'm basically both. But it's basically an anarcho-capitalism that is based on the ideas of Hermann Hoppe. Hans Hermann Hoppe. It's basically on paleo-libertarian ideas in the paleo-libertarian movement that has the importance on tradition and plus a, a dislike for democracy, which I, in my opinion, I don't like democracy as a system to govern the state. I don't hate democracy if it's just used normally, like how it should be. But if it's used to govern a country with millions of people, I don't like it because it simply is a flawed system that just leads to mob rule and chaos and disorganized country and tyranny just majority tyranny that's it so that's why i'm a happeniest is in all those reasons and seven e okay why you started with youtube um i started with youtube due to the fact that i mean i like talking with people on the internet since i don't like doing it in real life introvert moment and I also was interested in how to make videos, so I started making them. And yeah, it just kind of happened. What would be your dream country to live in? Don't have one. I would say maybe in the USA, like another place, maybe Florida. Actually, like Charleston, South Carolina. South Carolina in general would be pretty cool. Since I already went there, I know what, what to expect, and it's really nice. What countries have I visited? I have visited... Quite a f- actually, I was about to say quite a few, but then I realized I only visited, like, I think, like, two countries. <laughs> yeah, I know. Pretty boring. But I visited Ukraine, Lviv, Lvov, Lemberg, whatever you want to pronounce it, the multiple pronunciations. There's even a way to pronounce it in Latin, I think, so. Interesting. But I visited that f- several times to see my fam- my family there, and it's pretty nice. I don't know Ukrainian, unfortunately, so. It was kind of hard, but I got, I mean, there are many, like, places, I mean, there's, like, many people speak English, so it's, like, like, in the tourist section, so it's kind of fine, but, eh. no, but it was nice, it had a lot of cafes, and, and, you know, had an amusement park, which was not, you know, it's, it's a pretty good place overall, I mean, it's a pretty good place, um, 
And I also went to the UK, but not really the UK. I went to Bermuda, which is a small island. I know, like the most random two places I know, but it's just, I'm, I'm not a normal person. I'm not, I'm not a normal human being. Um, yeah, I went to Bermuda with 50,000 people. It's just a small island. And yeah, it was unique. It, it had a semi-tropical climate, had palm trees, had some tourist attractions. So it was pretty interesting. What languages you speak? Ja govoru pa angliski i pa ruski. Ne pa ruski ni tak harsho kak angliski. Tomu še je ni tak. Ja ni spojzovo je tak mnogo ruski. Da. Da, anyways, next question. Um, How's your opinion on fake news? Well, I think that the fake news in a way is driven... Well, what do you mean by that? I mean, like, fake news can mean a lot of things. Like, fake news can mean, like, you know... On Facebook, when they censor a real post that has real news with fake news because they're biased towards one side, aka the demon rat side or the democratic side. But there's also fake news, like in general. I think that the, most of the media nowadays is fake, fake news where it's not really representative of what's happening. Because I feel like the media can just proclaim something can happen and people will believe that it will happen. It's like a form of brainwashing now. People just go on their favorite media network or media like outlook they go and they see the information well information in quotation marks because a lot of it is missing and they just believe everything it's a form of brainwashing though so then the state obviously takes advantage of it and uses it do you like pizza with pineapple no it would be a crime to eat it in new york considering I literally live in New York City, which is literally the most Italian part of my country. And if I eat it, I would probably get assaulted by the Italian Mafia. Or the Sicilian Mafia, my bad. Do you like anime? No, I generally don't. And I think most of the time it's very cringe. And the fan base is pretty toxic and bad. I mean, I haven't... I ha I don't know, like, personally, but I've heard. But I mean, I don't have an issue if someone likes anime, but I don't like it personally. Okay, next one. Will you remember me when you are famous? Yes, I will, of course. And, or if I don't, I can just look back at my previous comments. <laughs> okay. What's your age? Um, I'm 15 years old currently. Are you American, Ukrainian? I am an American first and foremost. I was born here. I am an American citizen. I hold no other citizenship. I'm an American. But I also have Ukrainian DNA. So yeah, I consider myself partly Ukrainian. What's your native country? I, as I said, I was born in the U.S. I'm an American citizen. I was born in New York, so yeah, I'm a, I'm a American. Why you? Why do you hate your government? Okay, now this, this is the question I was waiting to answer. This is the question. Finally, I got to it. But anyways, I hate it for a numerous amount of reasons. But I'll explain the main kind of reasons why. So first reason is that it's a betrayed every single idea that it has fought for in the American Revolution. One being that it was against big government and especially an empire. Like, we've, you know, we fought against the British Empire. We were against the taxes. We were against the big government. The, we, were, we were being ruled literally thousands of miles away. And now we are being ruled thousands of miles away by a corrupt federal government that's really big, authoritarian, and practically as an empire. So, yeah, you can guess why. Also, no entangling alliances, they said. Founding fathers, specifically Washington. And, yeah, they didn't really age well, considering the fact that we have now... How many entangling alliances? Like, a lot? Too many to count, probably. Well, one, the big one is NATO, but we have a lot of others. I also hate my government because it's a gang of thieves. Well, that can basically be applied to any state, actually. They steal the citizens' money and use it to achieve their own goals, the people at the top who control the state. But the U.S. specifically, because it claims... Also, the fact that the U.S. government claim, says that everything... Like, whenever it makes a bill, it has a bill that's called either freedom or patriot, when it has nothing to do with freedom or patriot. Or being a patriot. Like, the Patriot Act, where the government spies on you. What does that have to do with being a patriot? It literally has nothing to do with, with it. Why? That makes no sense. Okay, anyways, moving on. 
What's your favorite country and worst country? In my opinion, my favorite country is Austria, as I explained numerous amounts of times. But it's mostly just because of history, architecture, food, landscape, people. Yeah, it's a lot of different things. I can't really explain it right now. It would be too long. My worst country by far has to be Zimbabwe. And I know that's a really, really random one. But I'll explain why I hate Zimbabwe. So Zimbabwe, when it was actually called Rhodesia, and it was a somewhat decent country, was, had I believe, had no inequality, no apartheid. It was a fair country. Anyone could live there. Anyone could serve in the military. It was a fair country. It was a, it was a decent country. It wasn't South Africa good, but it was good. It was a decent place. Then the socialists came over, the Marxists. And decimated the country destroyed it completely it became horrible death terror inflation they kicked out all the white farmers kicked out all the european farmers and now they're starving and there's nothing but inflation and trillion dollar bills and they lost all their culture they lost all their heritage in the name of marxism this is what will happen to Every country, if they allow, specifically Western countries, if they allow these Marxists to thrive in their system, they allow them to teach in their schools and continue brainwashing the young students, this is what will happen. We will have a situation where where it will be like Zimbabwe, with no culture, with inflation, with death, terror, and we won't have a country. It's as simple as that. Okay, anyways, next do you like communism? As I stated many times, no, but I will explain very, in, in a lot of detail, why I hate communism. Okay, so the first reason is because when, when, when Marx wrote it in the Manifesta, he contradicted himself so many times. It's hilarious how many times Marx has contradicted himself. Because Marx stated that communism is a stateless, classless society. But then he states they need an income tax. So, and, and people are going to tell me, but this is the road to communism. You need socialism to achieve. But no, how does that work? So you need a state to achieve a stateless society. Yeah, I understand. But the state will never reduce its power. The state never, it can never go down in terms of power. It just doesn't happen. You need a, gr yeah, yeah, people would say that it's possible, it's possible that communism is achievable, but it's not. It's just, it's just a false narrative created by Marx, and it's evident by how many times he contradicted himself in his own manifesto. So, yeah, and also, in general, I think the communist manifesto was very simply a just a propaganda used to rile up the masses in order to form, to divide people on the artificial basis of class in order to form an authoritarian government that would create socialism. Because socialism is impossible to achieve, or even communism, is impossible to achieve voluntarily in a large society. Keyword I said in a large society. Kibbutz do exist. In Israel, for example, they exist. But it's impossible on a large scale because of simply of human nature, of economics. It's just not possible for many reasons. So, yeah, in my opinion, that's the reason I don't like communism. It's simply not a not, a not achievable goal created by Marx. And it's simply a way for the state to continue holding power in the name of creating communism. Are you an appropriate JK? No, JK. Wait, or yes, JK. I don't know. How to, okay, whatever. Moving on. Which subjects in school you hate except math? Why except math? I like math, but okay. I hate English literature by far the most. I hate reading fiction. I hate analyzing it. And I hate writing freaking essays. Which, two country, which countries do you love and which you hate politics and not people? Well, for the most part, I respect every single country in terms of their culture and traditions and heritage. Because I believe that's the most important thing that society has. You cannot lose your tradition. You start losing your tradition, you're going to turn into like Canada or Australia where you have nothing in the name of tradition. You're simply an English colony that has more LGBT rights than tr than, than traditions. Okay, I just roasted Canada. I'm sorry. Wait, I'm not Canadian. Okay, I, I apologize. I'm serious. That's not really that funny. <laughs> okay. No, but for real. And, 
and I hate politics. I hate the politics of practically every country. I mean, the state is the same everywhere. It steals money. And it's a gang of thieves in every single country, so I basically hate every single country's politics. So, yeah. What is your favorite team in the I don't care? I really don't. I'm not interested in sports. I don't play sports, at least team sports. I am not interested in that. None of that. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, that's it. With funny last question. I wish you to meet me. I'm 20 years old. Okay, we can meet up. I don't know where you live. I think Albania. Okay. Cool. Maybe. I don't know. Question. Yes. Answer. No. Yes. And maybe. No. Yes. And no. And I already said yes. And okay. Moving on. Question. Do you play Valorant? Um, no, I don't. Not anymore. I stopped gaming basically temporarily for like a month. I might come back to it. Might come. Might not. We'll see. Who is your inspiration? Um... Oh, big mappers. I don't really have a specific one, but basically just big mappers who make great videos, and I really liked their stuff. Does your coffee have cappuccino? No, but I like coffee. Do you watch anime? And by the way, this is bef I'm recording this before I drank my coffee, so that's why I sound really bland. I don't really know how to describe it, but... Do you watch anime? No, as I explained before, I don't. Android versus the iPhone or the Legend Nokia. For sure Nokia, the Legend, obviously. What kind of question is that? Of course the Legend. But Android versus iTrash, I gotta prefer Android. And I also permanently boycott Apple for many reasons. But one is because of their horrible products. Their low quality, cheap products that are made by kids or by slave laborers in freaking China... And I'm not saying China is, you know, Chinese government is, a, I'm not saying I, I don't hate China. I mean, I kind of hate China because it's China's government, but I don't hate China as a country. But I'm just saying is that, like, why don't they make it here in the U.S.? Why? Oh, because it's cheaper in China. Yeah, I'm boycotting them. Okay, so many questions. But who are your friends on YouTube? All my subscribers and my enemies are trolls. It's very simple. I just hate trolls. It's extremely simple. What is your best video so far? Probably nothing so far. But when I upload the alternate future of the world, the movie, that will be my best movie. What video are you going to upload that will go viral? I don't know, but maybe if I upload alternate future of the world, the movie, that will go viral. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> I don't know. Where do you live in the USA? I live in New York City. What country do you want to visit when the pandemic ends? Iceland. I already had plans for it in 2020. And that was going to be interesting because Iceland is a unique country. And also no mosquitoes in the summer, but unfortunately it got canceled by COVID. Are you really American? No, I'm not. I'm actually an alien from the intergalactic base. Yes, I'm freaking American. Are you going to change your name and avatar many times in the future? Probably not. What food is the best in the USA? Probably like foreign restaurants. Well, not foreign, but... Like, I live in New York where you can basically get any food, like any cuisine of food in New York. You can get anything. You can get any type of genre of food anywhere. I can order anything. East Asian? Yep. Middle Eastern? Yep. Slavic? Or, sorry, Eastern European food? Yep. Southern European? Mediterranean? Yep. Any freaking food I want, I can order right now. So that that's the best food. I and also I don't know when anyone whenever anyone asks me what food do you prefer, I freeze up because I like so many types of food I cannot answer that. So I can't really answer that. How many years old are you? I'm fifteen. What YouTube video do you like most? Well, I don't like a specific YouTube video, but I do like mapping videos the most. I feel like they deserve so much more attention than they actually get because they're so difficult to make. How do these retarded gaming videos like reacting videos make make way more views than a hard earned mapping video which takes so long to make i know it takes so long because you have to make every frame you have to make the story you have to edit it it's like even if i don't actually map a scene out like you know an animation with war slides it's still difficult because it's a lot easier but it's still difficult okay 
Oh, I forgot to answer. How many total views do you have? Um, 56,000. To reaching 200 subs, are you going to make animations instead of mapping? No, but I'm going to may maybe try to improve my mapping, if possible. When will you think you'll reach 1K subs? That is when the YouTube algorithm allows me to. When you are a billionaire, what will you do with your money? Finally started to talk up instead of this raspy voice. You know, that sounds like crap. <laughs> I will probably invest most of it in stocks and maybe invest some of it in like a project that will benefit humanity as a whole. For example, um, what Elon Musk is doing. That, that would be good. And probably the rest I'll donate to charity and use for myself. Last question. What will you do when life gives you lemons? I will make lemonade. Of course. Last, last question. Can Poland into space? No. Of course not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if Poland has the capabilities of going to space. And one final question from this guy. This guy is, I don't know. Are you American or Canadian or Mexican? I am American. I'm not a, I don't say sorry all the time and I'm not a leftist and I don't speak Spanish and eat tacos all the time. Okay, I'm just kidding, obviously. I don't believe in stereotypes for the most part. So, yeah. Hmm, what app you use to make your animations? I use Paint and Vegas Pro. Yeah, Paint and Vegas Pro, 17. You can look those up. Do you do a Felper everything solo? I make them by myself and purely by myself. I don't need help because I'm a Chad. <laughs> uh, why am I so freaking tired? How long does your longest video take to make? A few days at least. Probably. Maybe longer. Maybe a little bit less. I don't really know. I don't count. I don't take track. Maybe like five. Like a week. Well, not a week in time, but a week of time I guess including everything else I did not a week like of time that that would be crazy what's my race I don't I hate stating it because in the US everything for some reason due to these leftist identity politics almost everything now revolves around your race so I I really am disgusted by the idea of race well not disgusted biologically but like I hate saying it so I'm just gonna say that um you can decide based on my base you know if you know my ethnicity you can decide based on that what race i am but i'm not going to specifically state it do you want taiwan to be independent yes i do i would i think that taiwan already is far different from mainland china that it should be independent what's my opinion on china <clears throat> well i mean i like chinese history i like chinese people i think they're the good i think they're good people China has an interesting religion, interesting culture, has okay food. I mean, their food is fine. I think I prefer Japanese food, maybe, but it's okay. But my opinion on the Chinese government is really, really bad, of course, because it brainwashes their citizens, and it's very apparent. So, yeah. Okay, question one. When you start this channel, February 16, 2015, I have that as a memory day. Question two, are you fully vaccinated? Because I'm not, no, I'm not even vaccinated at all. Not fully, not even a little bit. I'm never going to take the vaccine because the companies that made it are sponsored by the state and use cronyism in the state to, to crush older competition. And also, yeah, this is not about the vaccine. I just, and also because it's COVID and my chance of getting COVID and getting severely sick is like less than the chance of me getting hit by like a car. So... And also the vaccine can actually give me, like, myocarditis. So that's a huge problem. So I'm never going to take it unless I am forced to by the state. Yeah, but I just wanted to say that when people think that capitalism caused monopolies, I have a small question for you. Then why are the only the monopolies caused when the state intervenes in the economy, a.k.a. cronyism? So the state intervenes in the economy, which creates cronyism, and they eliminate the competition. The only monopoly is the state. Capitalism doesn't cause monopolies. But anyways, back into the real questions. Are you from the USA? Yes, I'm from the USA, of course. Why does everyone ask if I'm from the USA? Yes. What, am I an alien? <laughs> I'm just kidding. What is your favorite country? Austria. And what is your favorite food? I can't answer that because I don't know. And I have too many types of liked food. So it's pretty hard to answer. What is my political ideology? My political ideology is um, Hapaniism. 
anarcho-capitalism, individualism, voluntarism, and a lot of others. Okay, finally. I think these are the last pairs of questions. Yep, okay, finally. Jesus. Those are still so many. <laughs> Is there any Marxist or socialist thinker that you respect or acknowledge his slash her work? Well, I think that... I think that if they have good ideas, I'll respect anyone. Even if they have absurd, crazy ideas, even Marxism, I still would think that if they have some good ideas, they have some good ideas. I'll respect their ideas. If you were mayor of New York, what would be your main goal? Well, if I was mayor of New York, the thing I would do is I would try to eliminate the state or reduce the state's power as much as possible in my district. Reduce taxes. Improve crime. Improve crime. Well, reduce crime. Well, yeah, the same thing. Improve crime. Reduce crime. Improve crime. <laughs> Improve crime. Genius level of thinking. No, reduce crime. Reduce taxes. Reduce regulations. Just lower the power of the state and fire bureaucrats that shouldn't even be here. And also he, uh, he asked in a comment if I would do governor. Same thing. Reduce the power of the authority. Fire bureaucrats. Reduce regulations. Improve the economy. And just don't intervene. Otherwise. Okay, what is your real feeling for being an American? I like being an American. Honestly, I don't care if anyone, if any brainwashed person has a different opinion or even any non-brainwashed person. I just don't care. I like being an American. And But there are a few things I don't like, like the government. And also, there are a few kind of bad things. But in general, I feel like all almost all the bad stereotypes about Americans come from statist propaganda or Marxist propaganda. So most of these things that are bad about Americans, like bad health care, fat most of these things are stereotypes i mean yeah i see fat people sometimes but it's not like i mean it's not a huge problem to be honest i at least in new york because i feel like new york is the most fit city in this country so i feel like it's not a huge problem here but maybe in other places like mississippi it is but i don't really know personally i'm happy to be an american i think it's pretty it's a good country with good people maybe it's not the best obviously but it's pretty damn good why are you an anarcho-capitalist? As I explained already, I really like Rothbard's, Mises' Hobbes' ideas, and I've read several books on the topic, and I really like the ideology. And also, I hate the state so much, because I'm against authority. Would you change the U.S. flag? Yes! I would indeed change the U.S. flag to the Don't Threat Me flag, also known as the Gadsden flag, or the original, the even more OG one, the Join or Die flag. That is a sick flag. Join or die is an epic flag. I would make it that. Favorite food? I can't answer. For reasons again. What is your favorite book? Uh, I don't know, man. Like, I can't just say one. I'm so bad at picking favorites for anything. But I would say ec books about economics. Like, I really like books, What Has Government Done to Our Money? Like, and Spontaneous Order. Like, books about politics, economics, philo philosophy. Bro, why can't I speak? You know what I mean. And um, uh, I also really like science fiction and dystopian fiction books. I don't, I forgot the name, but I read a really good book about dystopian reality. It's been a while, so I can't really remember. But yeah, opinion on ordo liberalism. I think that ordo liberalism reminds me a lot of minarchism. I know they're two different things, but. They both say the state is required in some capacity to, you know, make sure everything's fine, stability, you know, to ensure the free markets. But in my opinion, no, the state, in my opinion, is a parasite because there are only two ways of, you know, humans making money or exchanging wealth. One is freedom is, is free exchange and voluntary exchange, also known as capitalism. You exchange things, you make contracts, and that's capitalism. Two is a parasitical nature or theft. The state is obviously the second one. It steals the wealth from society and uses it. And the people at the top who control the state use it in their own greedy way. So that is why I think that ordo liberalism, just like minarchism, is flawed. I think maybe even minarchists are anarchists by heart, but they just you know they just can't accept the fact that the state isn't required. And I'm not calling every single minarchist like naive or brainwashed or whatever because no i don't think that but i just think that the state in my opinion is a parasite and shouldn't exist because it merely seeks to exist 
to steal the wealth from society and allow certain people to be above others. That is my opinion. What climate is my favorite? I don't really know. I forgot what is Copen measurement, but I think something like Mediterranean or coastal climate is probably my favorite. Mild. Opinion on me? You're my friend, bro. You've been with me since, like, a while now, so... Yeah, you're really good. Languages I speak, Ruski, I Englishki, Yoja at the Gavadil. And what is the thing you hate most about your country apart from the government? Definitely the obsession with sports. For sure. Why is everything about sports? Okay, I just hate I just hate team sports. I'm just a huge introvert. But I also hate the fact that we have a lot of fat people. We have a lot of you know, also, we have a lot of political division in our country. Everything is based on politics. And even though I like politics, I still don't like being divided by politics. Still not fun. And also the fact that everything is called freedom here when almost nothing is about freedom anymore. Like, being obsessed with the word freedom. Our country has not been about freedom since 1776. Okay, I'm j okay moving on. Also, favorite U.S. city apart from New York City, Charleston, South Carolina. Because it has a lot of colonial houses, it has a nice southern climate, nice southern culture, great food, nice people. I went there, it's just great. Favorite world city? Um, New York, probably. If you count the major cities, like the major, major cities, the metropolitan, is definitely New York. I mean, probably Tokyo wouldn't be bad, but it's still very overcrowded. I mean, I wouldn't probably, I mean, if I had to live like in. A city, maybe I would live in, like, Moscow. But I don't really know. Yeah, I don't know on that one. Probably New York, still. Favorite genre of music? Electro, probably. I like electronic music, in my opinion. Well, electro and electronic, I think, are two different things. But yeah, electronic music. Also like metal and rock at times. But, yeah, I think electronic's my favorite. Okay, final... I think, or second to final question. Question, why aren't questions coming to my mind? Sad face. I have no idea. Sometimes it happens to me. I just can't think of anything to ask. Or I feel embarrassed to ask. Yes, I know I'm weird. But on the internet, I feel embarrassed to ask a question to a person I don't even know. Dumb. I know. Okay, I'm dumb. Stupid alert. And anyways, last question. Do you like Mario Bros? I, I don't know. I don't know. That's it. Okay. Anyways, I answered all, all the questions. If there are more after this, I'm sorry, but I can't answer them. Or maybe I'll make a part two if there are enough questions. If there aren't, I'll just apologize and answer them in word format, you know, as a comment. So anyways, that's all. Hope you like my answers and hope I didn't seem like a boring individual. But anyways, that's it. Bye and enjoy your day. Maybe I'll upload a video today or maybe tomorrow mapping. I don't know. But anyways, bye. Enjoy your day.